Today on Veterans Day, there's one veteran who not only wants to join us in saluting those in service, he wants to help them smile too. And I am so proud that Air Force veteran and dentist Steve Marsh is giving back to those who give so much to our country. Thanks for joining us and thanks for all you're doing, Steve. Well, you're welcome and welcome back, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So you were in the Air Force and you gave up your wings to become a high-flying dentist. Well, not so high-flying. My father was a dentist uh, in the military in World War II in the Army. And as I approached graduation, we talked about where do I go from there, and he thought it would be a great experience and yeah, it helped me serve the country, uh, but it also gave me experience. I worked in an Air Force hospital in Austin, Texas as a captain and a dentist, and it gave me lots of experience and, and uh, again, helped to serve the country at the same time. And you're still doing uh, help for the community, and tell us about Smiles for Veterans, which you've been participating in. Well, a, a number of us got together, a number of dentists in Cleveland thought it would be a nice thing for some of the uh, veterans from Iraq as they came back to do some dentistry. And uh, everybody was assigned somebody to help out, and so uh, we had a patient who had uh, a situation where his teeth weren't straight, and we actually were able to straighten him with the use of a bridge, and I think we have a picture or two to show it. Great. Um, he came back a very nice guy, and he came a long way. He came from uh, uh, somewhere near Maslin, or Mansfield, rather. And you can see his lower bite wasn't in great shape. It's very different than some of the veterans that I saw, or the active duty people I saw when I was uh, in the Air Force. But in any case, we were able to take out that lower front tooth, and we did an all-porcelain bridge. And, and, you know, I have to tell you, it was so gratifying. He sent me a letter. He called me up and said, you know, as we did this uh, as a bonus, that, you know, there was no charge. And, and I should mention that the lab dental ceramics work with me as well to take care of the, oh, that's the veteran. That's great. And you also have the regular patients that are veterans, too. Yeah, and again, that's very special to me to help take care of them. Uh, and uh, one I, that you were telling me about off camera was a veteran uh, of Vietnam. Vietnam. Right, and now and he had some trouble breathing, but uh, we were able to give him a smile that he wanted, and he had lost a number of teeth, and so we have pictures of that as well. Let's take a look. Um, one of the things is that he came to me and he had a uh, partial made about 15 or 20 years ago. That's what they used to look like on the left arm, and you can see those mm -hmm. clasps. They were metal, very heavy. And on the right, we used what's called a flexite partial. And again, it's flexible, it's light, and it's much, much more natural looking. Uh, and here he is without those teeth. And wow. Again, he came in a very a wonderful gentleman had served the country for a number of years. And again, had been in Vietnam. There's the before and after with the partial. Uh, it's a very easy way to get a uh, patient taken care of in just two to three appointments, something that he was really satisfied with. And I think you're going to show us another military makeover with uh, an Air Force pilot who... Actually, a Navy pilot. Oh, uh, a and, Navy pilot. And uh, he was somebody who was very unhappy with his smile. And actually, his wife dragged him in. You can see over the years, his teeth had shifted a lot. Uh, they had turned very yellow. So we did some gum contouring to raise the tissue, uh, did some porcelain veneers, and he said, and his wife said, if we're going to do them, let's do them white and bright. And, Look at and that that's difference. We, wow. White and bright. And there he is with that smile. Okay, one more quick. Uh, families, you know, they're waiting for their loved ones to come home, and finally they do. And yeah. you've worked on a number of... A number of people like that. And this was a wife, and she was actually a, a, a... had been a viewer of Golden Opportunities and actually came on Golden Opportunities one time with us. Her husband was serving in Iraq, and she was going back to graduate school uh, to prepare herself for future uh, work and we had been very unhappy with her smile and, and in fact I had taken care of her mother previously and also wanted in a sense to surprise him as well and so that was her before and after we did some reshaping we did some whitening and they are there they are with me actually here on the set of Golden Opportunity uh, and she had a beautiful smile for when her husband came in so to take care of veterans um, and being a veteran myself, it's really gratifying and, um, and a wonderful way to, to uh, show dentistry and what we've, how we've accomplished things um, for patients. Well, I appreciate what you're doing for all the veterans. No, it's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. If you want to sign up for a beautiful smile, it's easy to enlist the support of dentist Steve Marsh. He and his ACE team stand ready to serve you. He can be called for duty at the number that's coming up next. See what Dr. Stephen Marsh can do for your smile by calling 440-461-1003 or visit www.clevelandsmiles.com. Next, 
Add this to your checklist for your next checkup.